I was at the gym before, and I can't hold back. I need to rant. Most, not all, gyms suck. And even more so, most trainers, not all, suck. The trainers, even worse, there are more decent gyms, pretty good gyms, functional gyms, than there are trainers. I take things in. I very much focus on what I do in the gym, but in the gym and out of the gym, I take things in. I observe. Why not? For instance, my gym doesn't have a power cage, a rack. If you don't know what that is, look it up. You should know. I would hope you know. But unfortunately, a lot of guys in my gym who are bigger than me, that are real hardcore, not really, don't know what a cage is and that we should have one. Every gym should have a cage. But I don't think anytime soon we're going to get one. And here's the thing. I, I have a disability. I don't drive. It's like the gym is convenient. So I make the best of it. So you might be thinking, well, stop complaining. Why don't you go to another gym? It's a pain in the ass. But that being said, I still can express my displeasure, right? Here's another thing. I went to a gym in Florida. That was fairly well equipped. I liked it. They did something that was really, really, really intelligent. The dumbbell rack. Usually, the heavier dumbbells are on the bottom and the lighter ones are on the top. They had it switched around. Hello? Right at belly height, you can grab a heavier dumbbell, which is better for your back if you have back issues or if you don't want to get back issues and the lighter stuff's on the bottom. Hello? Why don't most gyms do that? no paying attention to detail unless you're fortunate how many gyms have specialty bars so you can deal with if you're you have shoulder issues doing a safety squat or a uh, buffalo bar football bar things that allow you to do things a little bit differently so you can get different stimulus and work around little aches and pains and things like that you know, a few specialty bars, like a thick bar. There are many gyms that have that all around the world, all around the country, but most don't because the people that own them, that manage them, they don't know how to really optimally work out. They don't really know. I mean, they may kind of work out. There are more people that work out sort of, you know, look sort of the part, sort of know, than really know. The thing is, is if more people put in that little extra effort, everyone's time in the gym would be better. The people that sort of are like, eh, would put a little more effort in if they got a little more education, if people just made a little more of an effort. Less apathy, less indifference. Trainers. I've gone to many gyms. Through my time, I've been a trainer. I miss being a trainer, but because of my disability and what have you, I'm not. I have seen more atrocious trainers than I have good ones. And you know what? It's like with gyms. Most people just don't know the difference. Most, not all. I had some clients that once I got them acclimated and showed them how to do some things correctly, they would look over and notice somebody working with another trainer, like, aren't they doing that wrong? And I'd be like, yeah, yeah, shh, don't say anything. Because, you know, it can travel. You never know who's going to hear. But on a couple of occasions, this happened. Where they, that didn't really know much of anything but had learned from me, could see that this trainer was having their client use in proper form, which is number one, number one. Beyond using proper form to minimize injury and recruit the muscles 
more optimally, that's number one. That's your responsibility. And two, pushing the person. <sighs> Just standing there like a rep counter. Okay, one, two. When I would train people, sometimes I wanted them to do a certain amount of reps, and I would ask them in the middle of the set or at the end, how many were, how many were at? Because I'm focused on their form. That's what's most important. But most trainers suck. Most gyms suck, especially the trainers. Like I said, repeating what I said. And many people just aren't savvy enough, educated enough to know because they really don't care. But maybe me saying this will make you think and make you care to help make things better. Because better is vastly underrated.